to Mom's Wannabe Homesteader. Today we will be building a 10 drawer rolling cart. And what's it for? And it is for school. It is for our homeschool room. We actually don't have a homeschool room. We live in a really tiny house and we have a homeschool area. It's actually right behind you. We'll show you that in a second. But today we're going to revamp it and add some better organization. And we're going to try the workbox system. This is specifically for a homeschool workbox system. She is in third grade and I have a preschooler coming in that's going to be gradually doing more school with us. This is for her too. And this stuff you see right here is wicker baskets. One of them has casters on it. They seem really, really big. I also found this at Sam's. This is to conceal. I'm going to try to conceal all of my husband's computer cords his computer wires from his tower and his monitor in these baskets because it's right near our, our homeschool area and it's in our living room and it is it's just a really ugly eyesore I'm so tired of just of just computer wires I don't know if anyone else has that problem so we're gonna try to do this too It's all done. It was really easy to assemble. You want to you want to turn it around? You want to turn it around? Yes, yeah, so that's it. When we were opening it up, uh, even before we started filming this video, my daughter accidentally broke. She dropped all the drawers. She accidentally broke this right here, and she broke this one in the back. However, I have heard that um, other people have also broken pieces or they came broke. And if you call customer service, they will replace it. So I'm going to give that a try because it pretty much is like a broke immediately. I mean, these are not the most sturdy things in the world, um, but I'm really hoping that they'll replace it. And um, yeah, it is what it is. So we're going to continue working on our little room now. Okay, so this is kind of like our homeschool area. Uh, we just do school on the dining room table like a lot of people do. This is um, where all of my oldest daughter's like school books are. Well, some of them. That cabinet is actually just a personal filing cabinet. There's not really much school stuff in it. Um, that is my desk. However, I'm getting rid of it because it's just in the way. And I don't really sit there. I don't work on the computer there. It, it hurts my back. Just I don't have the proper uh, seat for it. Um, I, so I really want to get rid of this table or that desk. Um, that is my husband's desk and this is the cord mess I was talking about. It's the biggest eyesore in the world <laughs> and I'm going to try to put all those cords in that wicker basket. I need to finish painting trim in here. But um, and here is like a little art cart that's just kind of shoved in this corner. And this is another, um, the, those bottom two shelves in, in our bookshelf are also all school books. So, yeah, let's see what we can do to kind of revamp this, this space. All right, this is my revamped homeschool area. First off, I decided to keep the desk. I put it out in the middle of the living room to sell it on Craigslist, and it sat there for like a day. And then my husband, my husband just put it back. And I was like, you know what? I kind of like it here now. Um, I got rid of the old chair. There was a really old chair that was here, and now it's just kind of like a place that I can display projects or art stuff, and if some kid wants to come over here and do something, they can still bring a chair over just from the dining room. We didn't really need to have some old nasty chair here. Uh, but I did kind of reorganize that in here. And this is this is kind of like my my drawer. This is just my planner supplies. And I moved the printer under here on this little table, and I actually love it a lot because I still have I can still just easily move it out, lift up the lid to make copies, which I always have to do for school. This is one of the wicker baskets I showed you guys before. I absolutely love it. Holy smokes! I got it from. Sam's 
And one thing I've noticed with homeschooling is you kind of start to collect a lot of bulky big things and I had nowhere to put it. And then now I do. I can just put it in here and slide it back. It is so amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, once again, got it at Sam's. So if I had wall space, I would totally put this map up, but I don't have wall space, so it goes in there. And these are, it's kind of like a little magnet, and um, my kids are starting to memorize the, the states. Um, okay, okay, see, really big coloring books. Human body, really big uh, reading books for my for my little one, and in here I keep all of the Matthew C blocks and some and some random flashcards. Okay, here is the cart. Yes, it is still kind of jammed up over here. That's just what I have to work with. So I left the art card over here. Here is the work boxes. We are still getting used to the work boxes, but I really, really like it. Once again, I still have to um, kind of get used to it and really get into it. But so far, I'm really loving it. And my husband's desk. I did it, you guys. I got rid of all that nasty cord mess. It's all in there. You can't really see, but it's all in there. My husband, at first, he didn't he didn't really like it, but then I think it's growing on him. So this is an, an old an old IKEA desk. There's all the wires that go through here, and you do see those over there. But oh well, <laughs> better than what it was. So yes, I got rid of the cord mess. Oh my gosh, love it. So this one does not have wheels, but that one does. Um, and yeah, here's this. That These are my planners. That's a gift for someone, little planning supplies. And these are still, um, homeschool books. And I was kind of feeling sorry for myself because I had nowhere to put our nature finds, but now I guess I do. I still need to clean this skull. Um, that's a fox skull, I believe, that we found in the woods around here. So that is it. I really, really like it. It's working out well for us so far. All right. Bye guys.